How to survive the apocalypse. With virus outbreaks, global warming, nuclear weapons, and other destructive events, it's only a matter of time before the world as we know it is gone. Now these simple rules outlined by the CDC will help you stay alive in the events of such disasters. Number one, trust no one. Chances are you will run into other humans. If you see them in the wastelands, ignore them. They will beg you to help them with food and, and offer to go with you on your journey, but don't listen to them. They will follow you around when they get even more desperate. They'll even warn you about dangers close by or point behind you in a convincing manner. Don't acknowledge their presence under any circumstances. Same goes if you're in a shelter or a bunker. They will knock on your door and beg you to let them in. Just ignore them. They will leave, but they may return and you may hear other voices at the doors of your loved ones and friends. Again, ignore them. They can't harm you as long as you ignore them. Eventually, when the sun comes up, they will burrow back underground. Make sure to put salt around the piles of dirt or any similar pile you run into in the wasteland. Number two, stay inside during the rain. The rain will be acidic and burn your skin slowly and painfully. Even if you have a protective suit, you should find shelter immediately, even if it's under a meager tree. They come out only during the rain, but as long as you stay under some cover, you should be fine. If you're far away from any shelter, try to pay attention to any movements around you. You may see with your peripheral vision silhouettes moving from cover to cover, always just out of your line of sight. Try to follow their movement and not to let them get the drop on you. They will always try to attack you from behind, so as long as you're facing in their direction, you should be fine. Number three, don't eat unfamiliar food. Most of the food is contaminated, so stick with canned goods, the ones that you're sure were intact. Avoid eating insects or dead animals. They are a new type of parasites which hide in carcasses of dead animals and foods, and they wait to be ingested by a desperate, hungry traveler. Once inside your intestines, they grow over the course of the next few months until they are healthy enough and in no need of a host to burrow their way into your body. Number four, don't drink river water. Stick with bottled water, use purifiers or boil the water. Do not, under any circumstances, drink from rivers, ponds, etc. If you really have no choice, then use something long to grab water from a distance. Do not get closer than two feet to the water and do not put your hand inside. In the best case scenario, you'll pull out your arm to find a stump in place of a hand. No wound or anything, it'll just look like you've always been missing your hand. In the worst case scenario, you'll get pulled into the water. Make sure to strain the water through a cloth or something similar in case some dangerous plants or insects are inside. Some river bugs are very cunning and they're hardly visible, even in clear water, and if you drink before making sure it's safe, you may feel a sharp pang of pain in your mouth. Upon inspecting your mouth, you'll realize that your tongue is gone and instead a parasite has attached itself to the stump. Don't try removing it. It'll bite down deeper in retaliation until it eats a hole through your throat. You'll just have to live with it and make sure it always has enough nutrients. Otherwise, it'll start to eat you. Number five, dismember the burnt ones. If you see badly burnt people in the wastelands, don't waste your bullets on them. They can't be killed in any way, no matter what you do. The best thing you could do is to sever all their limbs. Even if you cut them in half by the waist, they'll continue crawling towards you. If they see you, running away will not help, because they'll always know where you are, no matter where you go. That's why crippling them is essential. Number six, check your body daily for any abnormalities. Whenever you have the chance, make sure to inspect yourself thoroughly for anything that wasn't there before. If you see any scars, blisters, bruises, and any such things that you wouldn't believe should be there, monitor them closely in the upcoming days. Now if they get bigger, cut off that part of the body. If it's on your limb, amputate it. If it's on your torso, try to carve it out. You may have to cut deeper depending on the severity of the infection, but don't worry, it won't get any deeper than the bone. Number seven, only travel at night. The wasteland is full of hostile things that'll try to kill you. At night, they're gonna have a harder time noticing you. If you hear footsteps behind you while traveling, don't stop. Keep walking, but don't run. You don't wanna let the thing behind you know that you're aware of it. It should leave by dawn, but you can't stop moving until then. I hope you don't encounter this early on in the night, because walking for eight to nine hours until dawn is hell. Keep in mind that more dangerous things come out at day, so find shelter as soon as you're in the clear. Number eight. Shoot through the head. If you lose all hope and you decide to take the easy way out by ending yourself, make sure to stab or shoot yourself through the brain. 
If you've been in the wasteland for too long, chances are you contracted a reanimating virus. It's dormant in your brain, but it becomes active once your heart stops. It doesn't just reanimate your corpse, but it brings you back. The problem with this is, you will be in a sort of coma where you'll be aware of everything, but the virus will control your actions. Destroy the brain to prevent becoming a zombified puppet. Number 9. Avoid well-supplied houses. If something looks too good to be true, it probably is. If you inspect the kitchen or storage of a house and find it well stocked with supplies like canned goods, water, etc., get out of there immediately. It's a trap and if the inhabitants of the house catch you, they will make sure you regret ever being born. The people who live in these houses were greedy in the old world, afraid that they would run out of supplies in the event of an apocalypse and now they seek to stock up on all the supplies for the post-apocalyptic world as much as possible. If you're lucky, they'll kill you off right away and dry your meat. But if they haven't had a good meal in a while, it'll cut you up limb by limb and make sure to keep you alive until there's no more left of you to eat. Number 10. Use a gas mask. The first thing you should do before ever venturing outside is to wear a gas mask, but not just because of the radioactive fallout. There are particles in the air which when inhaled will burn your nose, throat, and your lungs from the inside very slowly. If your throat starts to scratch and then you get that sensation that exacerbates into mild burning when breathing or coughing, it means you inhaled the toxins and it'll only get worse from there. A bullet to your head would be a mercy. Number 11. Fully cover yourself from head to toe when sleeping. Years of exposure to the radiation and chemicals is going to have rendered many of the insects stronger and make them mutate. Mosquito bites can carry far more than just malaria, and if you happen to be stung, remove that body part immediately. Because if you don't, in a few days you'll start to feel a tingling sensation in the part where you were stung. Soon, that entire part of your body will go numb, and upon touching it, it may feel soft and rubbery like a plush toy. The tingling is going to spread across your entire body, and the best thing you could do then is to kill yourself as quickly as possible. The mosquito sting inserts an egg into you which hatched and reproduced, eating your muscles, bones, and other tissue from the inside out until all that remains is your skin. Number 12. If you think you won't make it, always go for a quick death. The wasteland is ruthless and it could kill you in many ways, none of which will be quick or pleasant. If you find yourself hungry, thirsty, wounded, infected, or anything else that would otherwise result in your death, but you have no bullets left, simply go outside in broad daylight. Make as much noise as you can, even though they'll find you regardless of whether you're quiet. You'll be dead before you even realize what happened. Your safety is our success.